back with the boys to another video of my match preview against Arsenal. First is Arsenal tomorrow game at the Villa Park, Tuesday evening kickoff at 15. So let's get into the video. What a tomorrow first Arsenal at Villa Park will not now be easy again. Oh boy, Arsenal. Let's talk the opposition team, Arsenal first. The reason why we're talking about Arsenal because Arsenal on fire then inform informed team like they really have good players to look out for. Like number one they got and Barry Yang, top score for Arsenal doing very very well. Like I said, Nicola Pepe, all the players are very good for Arsenal, but they're from the big Liverpool on Wednesday 2-1 and also the big Manchester City in the FA Cup. To be fair, watch Arsenal, to be fair, they do brilliant building very, very well. Steel team on fire, they really have good in paper as well. And their manager, Mikel Arteta. To be fair, you have to give Arteta credit, you know. Liverpool, he's going to lose against Liverpool and Manchester City. But to be fair to him, he proved us wrong and he showed up. He showed up against Liverpool and Man City as well. The one player we have to look out for is Per Wick Abdaliang. This guy called Koji Apartment like every single day of a week. Like, he top score for the reason he can bang goals for fun as well. The pacey, pacey Arsenal team as well. The one player like who start to learn quickly and quickly and quickly I watch every single time in Pakao Saka. This guy, wow. He's just a young lad, 18 years old. He can pass the ball, he can dribble, he can cross the ball. And he, for his score, his first goal against Wolverhampton Wanderers to be for Arsenal looks dangerous at the moment. Credit to Arsenal. Now for Aston Villa, obviously we just drew against Everton 1-1. I'm one -one. quite um, well gutted and disappointed to perform. You can tell my last video, very disappointment. A goal should have buried that chance. If that 2-0, that would be a different, different dope story as well. I watched D Smith um, press conference. And also he was talking about like Courtney Halsey back training so he fit as well. In my opinion, I'll keep the same lineup. I will not change. Please Jesus, me. Do not put Enzo Kanz in white back. MLT better white back. I'll put Kanz in centre back. I'll probably put Courtney House on the bench as well. And like Jack Greenish on the left wing and Tracy on the right wing. And Jack Green and Tracy will probably swap as well. And Neil Taylor is not fit to draw to come back. He's still a part of the hamstring. If we start very well against the Everton and Crystal Palace, I've got the sneaking feeling we can get something out of this game. We can get something out of this game. But if we start slow against, you know, like um, the Newcastle, the Chelsea and the Manchester United, we can't roll our start with slow as well. It's out of hands, we know that. We know it's out of hands. Look at Bournemouth. Bournemouth lost yesterday 2-0 to Southampton. We saw got our favour. And also, the shocking thing is surprising me at the moment. It's Watford. Watford has sacked their manager named Nigel Pearson. For me, I was shocked. Just two games ago, Watford has sacked their manager Nigel Pearson as well. And also, they got Man City. We need, we need Man City to batter them. We need Man City to batter them. Why the one must start in eleven against Arsenal in goal, Pepe Wena, when it will be in goal, Emma White back, Mings and Common centre back for me, up seeing keep the same centre backs, left back Neil Taylor, no, not Neil Taylor, Matt Target in left back, in the midfielder, I'll go with Doug Lewis, Super John again, obviously in there, and Connor Hurrahan. We need Connor Hurrahan today in there because he's Absolutely a part of our team. The way the way I can see him score the goal is our set pieces and Conor Hurrahan is the man to do that. So I'll put keep the same midfielder. Like I said, in the middle go up put Jack Grealish in the left wing, Trace in the right wing. On top, he'll go with Samata. We we'll put Samata on top for that for that team. For me, one of my score position. Do you know what? It'd be an absolutely difficult game. We know it's not going to be easy. I'm probably, I can't see us winning. So, I'm going to go a 2-2 a draw. I can't possibly feel we're not going to lose, but we need to get a draw. A 2-2 draw. 
and the last day we have to beat West Ham for the last day. So I'll go a 2 2 draw. What did that be in the end of the video? Make sure you give the like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. My name is Villa Boy, and see you next time. Off the Villa.